I'm going to replace this handle. This handle no work. I have a new one. The guy I bought this truck from gave it to me. It, he had already bought it, ready to put on, just never got around to it. It's pretty straightforward, but if you're not careful, you can break something, especially this little trim piece. So, we'll get to it. Now, the way these work, you'll see when I get this off, but as you pull this handle up, this mounts flat like this, and you pull this handle up, it pulls on these levers here. And these have little clips, these have clips that clip to metal bars on the inside, pulling that, it pulls those levers in. So that pulls those metal bars in and releases the latches on either side of the tailgate. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna pop this off. Sometimes you can pop it off by hand, yep, like this one. If not, you wanna get a little tool in here Carefully, you, want to do a, you could do it with a little screwdriver, but you want to be careful about your paint. Uh, make these plastic trim tools that I have a set. I'll throw a link down below to them. They're super handy for stuff like this. If you don't have one of those and all you have is a screwdriver, wrap it in some, you know, a whole few couple layers of uh, painter's tape so it doesn't scratch everything all up. You just want to pop the top, not the bottom. Once you pop the top, the bottom should just lift out. This is the part you want to be careful of. See these tabs here? So these are clips that when you pull, They'll, they'll pop down and pop loose. These will not. And if you pull on the bottom, you'll snap those off. I've done it. I'll show you when I get to it. There's three screws on the back side that are 13 millimeter. I got that trim piece out. Here's those pulls right here. And you can kind of get in here by hand and just pull them. And the tailgate will come down. Third one's underneath this. I'll just close it up by the way for now. Okay, I'm gonna unhook these. Again, sometimes you do them by hand. Sometimes a little screwdriver helps. I should have done this before I unhooked it. This would've been a lot easier. Yep, definitely should have done this before I uh, unbolted it. That would've been easier, but no. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to bolt this one back in. Let's not do it in reverse the wrong way like we did coming out. Well, put this in here. I'll line this up. There we go. super tight just yet. So just gonna run that one through that hole. So you put it through here and then clip this up. Where'd it go? There it is. There. Now well, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. I can't put the other one in. I gotta take those back out. You know, skull. Alright. It's a long day. Bed liners. That's probably the next major project is get rid of these bed liners and putting in a spray in liner. I hate these plastic liners. There. Got the latch in. I'll put the trim piece back on. Remember, same looks like before, just the opposite. There's little holes here. It's hard to see in the dark here with the black paint, but there's two little holes here that those tabs go in. There. 
There you go. And then top just clicks in. We're good to go. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, it takes all of, what, five minutes? Uh, 10 if you have a bed liner that blocks a bolt you forget to put in. Yeah, if you got a broken one or you just want to change it out for a nicer one, um, that's how you do it. Just three screws and uh, two clips and you're good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.